guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is my week 37 pregnancy update video. Every single week I make week by week pregnancy videos to give you guys updates on our first baby boy that we are expecting very soon here at the beginning of July, if not sooner. We are literally coming down the home stretch. So in today's video, I will talk to you guys a little bit about updates from this past week. I will share with you guys what the size of the baby looks like. We have an OB appointment every single week now, so I will share with you the updates on that appointment. And then anything else that went on this week, I will dive into in this video. So stay tuned for that. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please take a second. It takes like one little click. Click subscribe. Also click that little bell. It's like a little alarm. Click on that so you get notified every single time that we upload new videos to this channel. I actually have a lot of editing to do for other videos that we have filmed so far so that we have them not only as we approach baby but then after baby gets here as well we wanted to make sure that we continue to have content here on this channel myself and my husband so we record a couple videos for you guys but i need to make sure that i edit as well so make sure to hit subscribe also hit that like button if you are liking this content and i will kick off this video with what the size of the baby is here we go for week 37 we have the size of the baby emmanuel has back there i hope you didn't already see it but the size of the baby this week it's not oh, I, just, I just stiff arped him the size of the baby this week is not a fruit. It's a vegetable. We are not super excited about it, but we did get it. So we will show you what it is. Did you see it behind his head? You can see it. What is it? Uh, it's romaine lettuce. Gross. I do think that this is indicative of the size of her belly. Belly? Whoa. Lettuce? Pretty whoa. Pretty see, whoa. This, this could be a baby. This is probably how long they are. That's weird that you did no, that. No, that was weird. Okay. Should we start from the top? Just keep it. All right. Well, now that you know what the size of the baby is, you're gonna be very excited for what we are going to do with this lettuce. We are trying to show people that you can eat vegetables and consume them and it be tasty and delicious. Even so, if you have pregnancy cravings, mom or dad. What we are gonna do is a spin on pregnancy cravings, dad food cravings, and also, <laughs> Well, get, getting her back for that stiff arm. We'll show you what we did. As we are preparing for baby to get here, I'm also preparing in terms of things that I need for like mom essentials. So I wanted to show you guys two things that I actually just recently got in the mail that I haven't really tried on yet. I think I might've put this pink one on because I honestly couldn't help myself. But I got these from Keaton Cosette. I think I'm saying that right. I will link them in the description below. But they are basically breastfeeding friendly tops you can kind of wear out and about. And I don't know about you, but this hot pink one, can you see this? It looks like something that I want to live in all day long, whether I'm at home, or I'm out and about. I'm gonna try one on and kind of show it to you guys. I have my sweater on, but I will show you guys how it's very easy to use whenever you're breastfeeding. So I think it's gonna be super, super helpful. So I just put this hot pink one on and honestly, this material is so freaking cozy. I honestly feel like I wanna wear it right now. I don't know if I should. I feel like you can't even tell that this is a breast friendly top. Like the only thing that's different is they have this like signature little V pattern in the front, which I feel like is like so cool. Cause you can't, it just looks like a sweatshirt that I would normally wear from like Old Navy. I mean, it matches my outfit already. The color's perfect. Um, um, but basically there are little zippers. I think they're on either side. Yeah. I just literally zip them down. This is my sports bra, don't worry. But you literally just zip them down. There's one on either side. I feel like as a first time mom, these are things that would be just so helpful to have. So I am super excited for this one. I feel like this is gonna be really good for around the house. The long sleeves, they always tend to get cold. And then this one is like a short sleeve top as well that I can show you guys too. I got this hot pink one in a large because I like things to be loose, especially like long sleeves, kind of like sweater material. So this one is way more of a fitted shirt. So I know what you're thinking, Christine, this doesn't actually fit you right now. I got this in a size medium because I know that it probably will fit me much better once they is here so again same cons but has that little v and you can basically just unzip on either side to access for breastfeeding so again these are teat and cosette i will link their shop and probably their instagram page is probably the easiest way to see a lot of their shirts and they have dresses they have all kinds of stuff but i'm just so excited about this so just wanted to uh to show them off so we take our vegetables extremely seriously here at the benton household we want to make sure that with everything that you do you incorporate your greens it's, it's extremely important so what i have found is a recipe that is truly one of a kind. You take your lettuce. I'm just gonna get this juicy piece. Ooh, yes. Get one more juicy piece. That's the one. The ones that make you feel like you can fan yourself. And this other stuff, you just get rid of it. You only need to eat the amount of greens necessary. This is the important part. What do I pair these greens with? I have five guys right here. And we are going to make this healthy. You take your lettuce, step number one. You place that on your plate. You take your five guys burger, open it up. That juicy goodness. Take the bun off because that's unhealthy. You take off the bottom bun because that's also unhealthy. And you place all this juicy goodness, you put that 
on the plate. Then you put the top one on, get rid of that bottom stuff. There you go. That's your burger. It's now a healthy alternative to a Five Guys burger. What are you gonna make with uh, the uh, lettuce that you got there? So now that Emmanuel's ripped off all the good pieces of the lettuce, I have a few little pieces here left. What I would probably do would be to make a salad. But instead, he door dashed five guys, so I door dashed my favorite restaurant for pregnancy, Chick-fil-A. So I'm gonna show you what I do with romaine lettuce, which is called order a Chick-fil-A salad. It is a bed of mixed greens with uh, some chicken nuggets, a little corn, beans, tomatoes. I think there's romaine in this, so I feel like I'm still accomplishing the <laughs> week 37 challenge. And um, that's all you do. You put on the little tortilla strips, some of these chili lime pepitas, and the dressing, there you go. There's our recipe. So I wanted to share with you guys one other baby product here that I have not yet tested out, but we officially got for baby, which I'm actually really excited about. I know earlier I shared with you guys some breastfeeding friendly tops. We also to make sure that we are ready to have items for bottles. We can receive a bunch of bottles, not only from our registry, but also from some of those welcome boxes from like Amazon and Target. And so I got this product that I actually think is gonna be super helpful whenever you're like having baby in one hand and also able to make a bottle. So I wanna share with you guys, I have not yet tested it out. I have it here in the cabinet where I have like all the baby products for like bottles and like kitchenware and so we got it and I wait I think I left the note in here too I took it out of the box but I wanted to leave the note because I was just like so impressed I love whenever companies have amazing customer service and so in this box that I received I also got like a little handwritten note which I just feel like is so nice so this is from Boki so Boki is the brand of the item that I'm about to show you guys and there was just like a little handwritten note in here about like congratulations it literally says congratulations on baby boy Benton which I just feel like is so thoughtful so Boki I love you guys already. I haven't even used the product yet. Anyways, the product is basically allowing you to prepare bottles with just one hand. Only imagine holding him in one hand and like trying to make a bottle with like formula or milk and then like the bottle, like shaking it and like things going everywhere. But it's basically just like a silicone little circle, with like it's like suction cup type of base. And so all you do, this is what I, this is what I've been told. Stick it onto your counter and it kind of like sticks into place. And then let me see if I have a bottle. I feel like I have a bunch of bottles on here. Dr. Brown's bottle, baby in hand. Stick the bottle in here and then you can do everything with one hand. I can take the top off, take all the stuff out, pour the milk in, put it all back into place with only one hand. I feel like this is so nice. I assume the alternative is you try to put the bottle down, undo it with one hand, things are falling, the bottle is unsteady, you pour milk, it's like gonna fall everywhere, you spill everything. I'm like still holding baby. Spilled all the milk everywhere. But this literally just boop twister in place and then it's like secure. I think this is so smart. So Boki, I appreciate you. I feel like it's gonna be super helpful. I also feel like Emmanuel, my husband, is gonna use it so much. He's probably gonna be making a lot of bottles. I'm really, really excited about this product that I wanted to show you guys. This is our weekly pregnancy belly bump date. So this is where we are for this week. I actually just got done taking a little photo. I wanted to kind of look at my bump compared to in the weeks past. I put on the shirt, which I have worn in previous belly bump dates for you guys. And I actually shared a little side by side on my Instagram. So if you're not yet following me over on Instagram, I'll put up my handle here. I just made that post that you guys can kind of compare my bump from the past couple weeks to see if it's dropped because I honestly feel like we are going out, but I do feel like belly has dropped. I do feel like there's a little bit of space here where belly has kind of dropped. So who knows? Let me know in the comment section below or over on my Instagram if you think that baby has dropped, but this is where we are for the week. So I'm sitting here editing this week's video and I just realized that I did not have any footage from my 37 week OB appointment. And the reason why is because as soon as I came out of the appointment, usually you guys see me like filming myself in the car, like giving you guys a little updates right after the appointment is over. Well, this past week there was actually like a car parked right next to me and they were sitting in their car and I was like kind of feeling uncomfortable videotaping myself in the car with them watching me because I always feel like people are like, what is she doing? So I was like, don't worry, I'll film when I get home. And then, you know, forgot. So I want to give you guys a quick update on how my OB appointment went this past week. As per usual, the appointment was pretty quick. I saw one of the OBs and they checked for my blood pressure, any protein in my urine, they made sure my weight was good, they checked baby's heartbeat, and they also did my measurement, which this week was 36 centimeters as well. So it was 36 centimeters last week, 36 centimeters this week as well, and they said that was totally fine. He also felt on my belly and so that baby's head is still down, which I think is like so crazy that he can literally just feel on my belly and be like, yep, 
that's Davy's head. I was like, I don't know how you know this, but I just believe you. I know that you know what you're doing. You see this all day long. I also got two fun little papers to take home with me, one of which was my screening test to go get tested for COVID-19, which they need to make sure that I am tested, that they know either way before I go into labor. Starting at 38 weeks, they said I can officially go into one of those like drive through stations or like at a CVS and get that taken care of. So that's this. And they also gave me a paper on labor instructions, which means it's the real deal. The good part about this is that it basically told me things that are like normal changes versus things that are signs of labor. I should actually show you guys because every single one of them on here, I'm like, yep, have that increased pressure on your pelvis, increased discharge, increased intensity of contractions, or like my belly feeling tight or hard, back pain, feeling more tired and having difficulty sleeping. All of these things I have, I feel like every single day. So I'm like, you know what? This is totally normal. This is how I should be feeling at 37 weeks. So besides that, I'm gonna be going back next week for my 38 week appointment and they might also do a cervix check that week as well. So if that happens, I will give you guys a little update, but I wanted to make sure that I put this update in the video. So <laughs> I can't tell if we're getting smarter or lazier <laughs> as the pregnancy goes on. Yeah. When we have the second child, I think what we're gonna do instead is just door dash the yes. size of the baby in a yes. food item. I feel like in the beginning, if you like have been around here for a while, you can watch the videos since we started them. Like we were getting real crazy. We were like Gourmet. on the stove, in the oven, yeah. on the grill. And now we're like, what do you do with romaine lettuce anyway? You know, it's like just a salad. So anyways, that is our week 37 food baby challenge next week. I think the uh, the belly and the items are only getting bigger. We only have like three three weeks left. So well, you can... plus or minus two weeks. That's you right. never really what know. What if we never get to the largest fruit that I've been waiting for? I know. We're going to probably... We're going to do it regardless. Should we just do it early? We should just do that just early. Like, if you don't have this baby tomorrow, I know what I want to make with it. Do you already have something in mind? Ooh, I'm excited. It's gonna be better than just the DoorDash. I don't think these last couple items we can actually physically DoorDash, so stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a little better. I'm gonna go eat dinner now, so. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching my week 37 pregnancy update video. I hope that you've enjoyed following along on my journey through this first pregnancy that I'm going through. If you've missed any of the videos that I've shared so far on my channel or you want to take a little trip down memory lane, I will link my entire first pregnancy playlist in the description below. As you guys know, I'll be back here next week for our 38 week pregnancy update video. Make sure to hit subscribe, hit the little like button, hit the notification bell because baby could be here any day now. And I don't want you to miss out on any updates that we post here to our channel and of course you can always follow me over on instagram as well if you are not already i do a lot more day-to-day -day and real-time updates over there so i would love for you to follow me over there and i will see you guys next week bye guys